If you haven't heard, Bevel will be welcoming pro hockey for the first time. As the Binghamton Senators, AHL affiliate of the Ottawa Senators, are relocating to the Yardman Arena for the beginning of the 2017-18 season. In an effort to get fans excited about the upcoming season, we'll be taking a look at some of the top prospects we may have the privilege of watching here in Belleville. Thomas Shabbat is an agile puck-moving defender who showed tremendous progress last season with the St. Jog Sea Dogs of the QMJHL. He is a great skater and passer who will get the puck up ice reliably and safely with the vision and hockey smarts to both create and recognize developing scoring opportunities well before his peers. He is not a big hitter, but with a scalable 6'2 frame, that could change in time. Thomas Shabbat competed in, with Team Canada at the World Junior Championships this winter in Montreal, where he won the tournament MVP. Shabbat could begin the season with the NHL Senators or the AHL affiliate, the Belleville Senators, for the start of the 2017-18 season. This season, Thomas Shabbat has 8 goals, 30 assists for a total of 38 points in 28 games with St. John's of the QMJHL. Colin White is a dominating two-way center with elite hockey IQ. He has incredible anticipation and awareness, and his offensive skill set gives him plenty of upside. He is a total package prospect and a character player who looks great with a letter on his chest. Good hands make him a good shooter and a better stick handler, and he makes creative yet safe moves. He shuts down opponent rushes and generates offense from the defensive zone out. White could become the team's top line center in the future, but with the position locked up for the next few seasons in Ottawa, there's no rush, and he will have plenty of time to develop in Boston College. This season, he has 15 goals, 13 assists for a total of 28 points in 31 games in the NCAA. Nick Paul is a strong, skilled forward who excels in big games, as evidenced by his terrific performances for the North Bay Battalion in the playoffs and for Canada at the World Junior Championships in 2015. The six foot three forward is quick for his size and has some finishing ability around the net as well. Although he was often utilized as a winger in Major Junior, the Senators envision him as the big center the team has long needed. Although the Senators have plenty of skill up the middle, they don't have much size, and the hope is that Paul is ready for the NHL sooner rather than later. Until then, he will continue to develop in Binghamton, where he began the 2016-17 season. This year, he has 9 goals, 16 assists, for a total of 25 points in 53 games in the AHL for the Binghamton Senators. Curtis Lazar has excellent two-way ability and a tremendous work rate, owns plenty of character and usually plays much bigger than his below average frame suggests, can score key goals too, plays all three forward positions. Although he needs to become a more consistent point producer in the National Hockey League, he also needs to get stronger in order to play his abrasive style effectively at the highest level, and he also needs to improve his setup skills. He can become a quality, versatile two-way forward with some uptime in time. This year, he has one point in 33 games with the NHL Senators before being sent down to the AHL where he has three goals, one assist, and four points in 13 games. Matt O'Connor has a very projectable frame, so he is capable of covering a ton of net. He also has a a wealth of experience playing in big games, so he is quite calm under pressure. He needs to eliminate his penchant for losing his focus and concentration on occasion. He also needs to fill out his big frame to maximize his output in the NHL. He can become a big, talented goaltender with some upside. This year, in 34 games for Binghamton of the AHL, he has 10 wins and 20 losses with 3 shutouts. Chris Dreiger has the projectable size NHL scouts look for from the goaltending position these days. He has also proved he could carry the mail and perform admirably in the junior ranks. He is still somewhat unproven in the pros, so he needs to become a consistent puck stopper to make his mark at the highest level. He could use even more bulk, although he will become a solid goaltender with some upside. This year, 
Dradger has 18 wins and 15 losses in 39 games with Binghamton of the AHL. And there you have it. A look at some of the potential prospects we may be able to enjoy watching in Belleville to start next season. Dan Taylor, QNet News, Belleville.